Hi, my name is Dean, a technical specialist here at Excel Air Systems, and today I'm going to show you the basic functions of the I-1010WHR touchscreen thermostat. How to start turning your system into cooling. On the opening screen of the I-1010WR touch thermostat, you will see the time and temperature display. To access any of the operations of the thermostat, simply touch the home screen button. From there, you will see the options for mode, fan, and schedule. To go into the mode settings, hit the snowflake and sun button. With that, there are three different settings, cool, heat, and auto. In this case, you are not going to use auto because we are going to use heat or cool. So just tap it again, which will turn it off. Then tap it again to switch it to heat, and then again down to cool. When you are running our system, we recommend using the cool setting only. In this case, for example, I'm going to set the temperature to 72 degrees using the up and down arrows in the right corner. Once you have reached that point and set your desired temperature, you will see that it says cool with the new set point. In this case, 72 degrees and a little snowflake indicating that the system now calls for cool. How to set your humidity level in dehumidification mode. To access the humidity settings, touch the home screen button, then hit the four white lines in the left hand corner. Keep tapping it to go through the settings down to the humidity option, then hit the white arrow. Once you're in the humidity settings, you will see two numbers. The large number in the middle is the humidity in the room that the thermostat is reading. The blinking number on the right hand side is what you want to set your humidity set point to. Use the up and down arrows in the right hand corner to set it to our desired humidity setting. Here, for example, I'm going to set it to 45% just to show you how to get it to come on. Once it's at its desired humidity set point, in this case 45%, simply hit the home button to lock it. At this point, because there is still a call for cooling, the dehumidification cycle on the system is not going to come on. If you want it to come on, just hit the up and down arrows to change the cooling set point. For example, I am setting it to 79 degrees, which will now kick the cooling off. Once you do that, you will hear a click, and the snowflake and the set point will disappear, indicating that there is no longer a call for cooling. However, you may find your system is still running, and that will be because it has switched over into dehumidification mode. In order to check if that is the case, go back into dehumidification mode where the indicator will be visible with on in small print in the top right corner. Now if you set this all the way up to 60 and hit on, the system will continue to run for a few seconds longer, but then will shut off. After you have done this, nothing should be running because dehumidification has been set higher than what the room is. Once again, this will be visible with the indicator now reading off in the top right corner. These are some of the thermostat's most basic functions. How to set your schedule, including setting your set points. To access the schedule settings, touch the home screen button, then hit the calendar in the far right corner. From there, keep tapping the calendar button and it will take you through options for schedule on, schedule off, vacation, and edit. When selecting edit, hit the white arrow, which will then allow you to choose scheduling options for weekdays, a full week, or just weekends. Here, for example, using the up and down arrows, I am able to see that I am currently on Monday and can toggle for the whole week, the weekend, just the work week, or individual days. From this point, you can set the optimal temperatures for desired days and times. Therefore, depending on what you are doing within your room, you can basically set the temperatures for the awake schedule, the sleep schedule, the return schedule, and the leave schedule. Most of the time, these four settings, we'd recommend setting two of them the same, such as leave schedule and the awake schedule. With these specialized schedule settings, you can be sure to accommodate your facility's specific scheduling needs. How to set your thermostat 
to basic fan mode. To access basic fan mode, touch the home screen button. From there, you will see a green blade icon. In this case, in tapping the green blade, I can see that the fans are currently set to auto, turned on, and hourly basis. But for mission critical applications, we recommend the fan stays on at all times to ensure that we have constant airflow moving throughout the room at all times of the day. However, if you prefer, you can set it to auto, which will turn on and off at intervals when the system is not being used. This is okay, but fans not running constantly is still recommended for optimal performance. That way, you're getting constant airflow throughout your environment.